The following contest is a steel cage match and is for the Intercontinental Championship. You can feel the excitement. Buzz is here. Is it me, or is this guy's 15 minutes of fame expired? I think it's just you, because just like a good mattress, Buzz's success seemingly has no expiration date. Is that why our chairs have bed bugs, Saxton? most decorated combat athlete in history. Brock Lesnar is hazardous to your health. Serena. This is going to be some battle. One on one. Mano a mano. Thunderous power slam. If you ask me, fellas, this championship match is among the most highly anticipated that we've seen in quite some time. Like you, Corey, I've had this championship match on my radar for quite some time, and so far, I think it's safe to say that it hasn't 
disappointed. No, it definitely hasn't, Michael, which is saying something, considering fans' expectations heading into tonight. I can tell you that they saw this as a potential match of the year candidate. And so far, I think it's delivered. Guys, a loss here for the champion would be incredibly embarrassing, especially considering all the trash talking I'm told that's been going on behind the scenes. I don't want to reveal my sources, but let's just say there's been some pretty harsh words being... What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. This might be it. Oh, my. I don't know who your sources are, Corey, but it wouldn't surprise me at all to learn that the champion has been a little cocky heading into this one. And there's nothing wrong with that, Michael, especially considering just how dominant the champ has been of late. When you're that good, you have every right to bow your chest out a little bit. Oh, man, incredible impact! Oh, and it's a reversal! Brock Lesnar definitely in a tough spot now. The challenger's hopes of becoming champion appear to be in serious jeopardy right now. This match is trending in a bad direction for him right now, guys. He's going to want to make some changes if he wants to stay in it. Yeah, he's clearly not on the right side of this match right now, which is a little surprising to me. We've seen champions head into matches maybe a little too confident, only to be picked off in the end. And guys, I can't help but wonder if we're going to see that again here tonight. Speaking of champions heading into matches a bit overconfident, one of the most glaring examples of that would have to be the honky-tonk man's attitude heading into his Intercontinental Championship defense at SummerSlam 1988. And we all know what happened to him on that night. <laughs> you are so right, Michael. That was great. Of course. Here he goes. Sidewalk slam! Almost drove him through the ring. Wow, I, I gotta say that I'm in shock. I really thought vicious attack. This one is over. Let's see that again. Definitely worth a second look. Whoa, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. Championship on the line. Two superstars, and they both only want one thing in the world, to be called WWE Intercontinental Champion. And now, yes, takes it! When you introduce the enclosure, everything is possible. What a match this was. That's the kind of match that makes me proud to be here at ringside. Action from the opening bell and a finish people won't soon forget. Every single minute of this one was memorable. Here is your winner, and still the Intercontinental Champion, the Terror. A very decisive victory here tonight. Hey, they both gave it their all, but in the end, we were left with the best man standing. Wow, I don't think we're going to have too many disappointed viewers at home.